two main roles that you have. One, providing unconditional love. The other one, providing protection for your child. If you are an Avenger fan, you may have heard of Odin Thor Loki, alright? And Odin, he's this very strong guy, right? Strongest king ever that Asgard has. He can protect his children. But at the same time, he is not able to provide this unconditional love. As a result, although the children are well protected, Thor and Loki, they grow up feeling like, well, am I worthy enough, right? Am I good enough? And they grow up trying to get their parents' validation, okay? And they can't actually try to explore what they want for themselves. They are still trying very hard to meet their parents' expectations, to be more accurate, father's expectations. On the other hand, providing a safe haven. Well, the best example that I can think of is Black Panther, right? Why did King T'Challa was trying very hard to reconnect with his father? When he was having problems, he didn't know what to do, he was still going back to his father, of course, right? We can't do that in real life, your dead father can't come back to you. But it will be very important for the children to be able to internalize the healthy voice that their parents will have. Fathers actually teach the child to regulate their emotions when they are playing. They actually take more risks when they are actually teaching or playing with their child. But dads, they tend to be a bit more logical, I don't deny it. But at the same time, by doing so, the children learn that there will be consequences for their action. Firstly, be empathetic. Listen. Now, listening is very important. It's very hard for you to just not listen and try to problem solve for them. The children sometimes don't need you to problem solve. If you, if you can't problem solve, at least acknowledge that this is the legit feeling that you have. And I am here for you. All right? Make time, make space for your child, right? There's nothing more important in terms of increasing the protective factors. I see the relationship as parent and children, well, like a joint bank account, all right? When you are in a joint bank account, you spend time with your child, there's this positive interaction. You are actually depositing money into that account. This creates a better relationship and there will be times where you need to withdraw. Right? When the child is stressed, when the child is going through puberty or whatever. But if you create this strong balance, healthy account balance with your child, right? you will be able to find yourself having a more productive, more positive relationship with your child. And when the children are struggling, you will be able to be there for them. Even when they are withdrawing from the account right? with a strong balance because you spend time, you set aside time with them, you were there for them the relationship with you and your child will continue to be strong. So you need to be able to feel what kind of support that you need for yourself. It could be meeting friends, taking care of your health, you no know, getting enough sleep, whatsoever. It is as important as you being able to support them.